بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ویلکم ان مائی تھرڈ لیکچر دس لیکچر از فور گریڈ ایٹ سبجیکٹ کیمسٹری چیپٹر نمبر ون دس از مائی تھرڈ لیکچر اینڈ ہیئر از مسز سائرا جمال Dear students, today the topic which we are going to discuss is about the basic definitions. Some basic definitions in chemistry. The first one is matter. About the matter, I already told you that anything which occupies space and has mass is called matter. I, in my previous lecture, I explained matter and its types in detail. The next definition is about the substance what is substance it is also uh, a type of matter because you can see from the definition that any matter it means substances are matter they may be solid they may be liquid substance they may be gaseous substance so any matter that has a particular particular means specific set of characteristics characteristics means properties that differ from the characteristics of another kind of matter it means that the properties of one matter is different from the properties of another matter it is understood that the properties of water which is a liquid matter it is totally different from the properties of coal which is a solid matter so the properties of the matters they are different from each other so a substance or any matter that has a specific set of characteristics that differ from the characteristics of another kind of matter is called substance or a substance is matter which has a specific composition and specific properties for example iron is a substance it is solid in state gold is a substance solid in state water is a substance liquid in state sodium chloride is a substance solid in state but the properties of iron are different from gold from water and from sodium chloride again uh, their composition composition iron is fe it is made up of only only iron atoms gold is made up of only gold atoms but water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom sodium chloride is made up of sodium ion and chloride ion so you can see that all these substances they differ in composition as well as differ in their properties properties of water are different from gold this is the example there are uh, two types of substances pure substances and mixture the properties of the substances they are different from each other you can see lithium sodium potassium uh, rubidium and cesium and you can see their melting point they are different from each other so these are substances substances we uh, we have example of water you can see the composition of water it is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom composition of carbon dioxide one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms composition of oxygen oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms types of substances pure substance and mixture pure substance pure substance means that these are made up of same kind of atom pure substances are made up of same kind of atoms while mixtures are made up of two or more different types of atoms or different types of particles so pure substance the substances that are free from any kind of mixture and contain only one kind of particle are called pure substances i told you they contain only one kind of atoms examples of pure substances are iron aluminium silver and gold they contain one uh, kind of atom but mixture contain i told you they have two or more 
different particle or different types of atoms. You can see this is a, an image of uh, element, any element, and all the atoms they are same. All the atoms are same, and they have same atomic number as they are same. Their atomic uh, mass is same, so their atomic number will be also same. In mixture, you can see they are made up of different atoms, green and uh, purple. So they are. This is mixture which is made up of different atoms. The classification we have matter. Matter is further divided into two types: pure substances and mixture. Pure substances, I told you, they are made up of one type of uh, molecules or atoms, while mixture are made up of two or more type of molecules. Then, pure substances are further classified into element and compound. Element and compound. If the number of types of atoms in the molecule are one means if one type of atoms or same kind of atoms they combine together then they will form element but if more than one type of atoms or more than one type of elements they combine together then they will form compound like uh, hydrogen gas is an element because it is made up of two same hydrogen atoms but water is a compound because it is made up of two different elements. Those two different elements are hydrogen and oxygen. The mixture is further subdivided into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture, it has uh, uniform uh, composition, but heterogeneous mixture uh, does not have uniform composition of atoms. So you can see that atoms or molecules, you can see in this case there, that this is one molecule which have one purple and three green balls. They are at both corners. Then we have purple balls. Then we have red balls. Consider them as atoms. And consider them as um, molecules. So we have uh, these different types of molecules. But they are evenly distributed. Evenly distributed, you can see. In this corner, I have a red ball, purple ball, and this green and purple ball. In this corner also, I have these balls. It means they, they, their distribution is even. They are distributed in uh, all the direction. But in this case, you can see the black balls are at the upper side and the white balls are at the lower side. So the, their distribution is, the distribution of the molecules are not even. The distribution is uneven. So we call it the uh, uh, this is called uniform composition and this is called not uniform composition so it means the heterogeneous mixture does not have uniform composition of atoms or molecules but in this case in case of the homogeneous mixture the molecules they are distributed uniformly or they have uniform composition or they have even distribution of atoms or molecules so uh, in this case, you can see element, they are made up of similar atom, all the atoms are the same, but uh, these are monoatomic, it means uh, atoms are individual or it is free. But in this case, the two similar atoms combine to form molecule, it may be H2, O2, Cl2, F2, but the thing is they are made up of similar atoms. So they are called element. But in case of compound, they are made up of different uh, elements. Like suppose one is purple and uh, the if I take it as nitrogen and the other three, they are hydrogen atoms. So uh, in case of compound, two different elements, nitrogen and hydrogen, they combine together and then they form compound. Types of uh, pure substances. The types, there are two types of pure substances, element and compound. Element. An element cannot be broken down into simple substances by any physical or chemical process. We cannot simplify or convert an element into simple substances. For example, if I take the example of a piece of coal, this is a piece of coal, and if I break this piece of coal, by hitting it with a, with a hammer, 
what will happen? It will broken down into small piece. And if I again hammer the small piece, it will convert it into the smallest piece. So what do you think this smallest piece of coal, its properties will be different from the other pieces of coal? The answer is no. Coal still remain coal and its properties will remain same like the bigger pieces. It means that if, uh, if we break or if we break any element into simpler form or into the smallest form, the properties will remain same and it will remain coal. It will not convert it into gold or will not convert it into silver. It remain coal. So this is the uh, first definition or first statement about the element that they cannot be broken down into simpler substances. Second point, elements have their own fixed physical and chemical properties. All the elements, they have a fixed property or they have special properties. For example, carbon density, atomic number of carbon is 6, density is 2.2, melting point is 3652, boiling point is 4827 degrees Celsius. So all the elements, I just, I just take the example of carbon. All the elements, they have specific properties or fixed properties. As I told you that uh, the smallest particle of element is uh, one atom, the one atom combined with two atoms or four atoms or six atoms or more than six atoms. But if they, uh, as uh, all the atoms are of same kind, if uh, um, as all the atoms are of same kind, so we call a element. We call this molecule as element because this molecule is made up of similar atom and if we broken down this molecule into smaller pieces what will be its simpler form the simplest form of this molecule will be atom it means that the smaller smallest particle of element is what atom means all the elements they are made up of smallest smallest particle and that smallest particle is atom then uh, I have some uh, example of elements. You can see tin, lead, brass. Brass is an alloy of uh, copper. So we have these type of uh, elements. And if we broken down them, um, uh, or if we break them, what will happen? The tin will remain tin, lead will remain lead, and brass will remain brass. They will not change into any other form. In periodic table, I told 118 elements are present and all these are elements and each element has specific property or fixed property. Compound. What is compound? A compound is obtained by the chemical combination of two or more elements combined in the fixed ratio by mass. Compound is made up of uh, different elements. But those different elements will combine in a fixed ratio. They will have a fixed ratio in which they will combine with each other. And uh, chemical combination means that they react together. Those elements react together through a special type of bond. And that bond is called chemical bond. It means in compound, the elements, they chemically combine with each other through a bond. And that bond is called chemical bond. We have an example of water. You can see that uh, this red part is for oxygen and the gray part is for water. So H2O, two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. What is the ratio of oxygen and hydrogen in water? Two ratio one. Two is for two hydrogen atom and one is for oxygen atom. So in all the compounds, the elements are in a fixed ratio if i change the ratio of oxygen like if i take h2o2 so this will not remain water it will convert into hydrogen peroxide because h2o2 2 ratio 2 is the uh, ratio for hydrogen peroxide not for water so if we if we will change the ratio then the molecule will also get changes 
compounds are pure substance have molecules of only one kind as i told you elements are pure substances because they are made up of only one kind of atoms and compounds are also pure substances but they are made up of one kind of molecules not atoms okay they are made up of one kind of molecules for example smoke which comes out from factory it contain carbon dioxide gas many carbon dioxide molecules and combine together and form compound so smallest particle of elements are atoms while smallest particle of compounds are molecules you can see the smoke which comes out from the industries it contain carbon dioxide and many carbon dioxide molecules they combine together to form compound the, this circle contain many molecules of carbon dioxide as i told you that the smallest particle of compound is molecule you can see many molecules one molecule two molecules then four molecules of water then six molecules of water then they combine together and then they form eight molecules of water so this eight molecules of water they combine together and then they form compound so we can say that the simplest or the smallest particle of compound is a molecule the elements forming the compound cannot be separated by physical means why they cannot be separated by physical means because they are held together by a strong bond that strong bond is called chemical bond they can be separated only by chemical method we cannot separate them by a physical method we can if we want to separate them then we have to use any chemical method you can see here water if you want to break water into hydrogen and oxygen which are the components of water so which are the elements of water then we we need a chemical method so separation of compound it's if into its constituent element is possible only by chemical method can you break this water because i have a beaker in which water is there if i uh, uh, hit it with a hammer what do you think that uh, the water molecule will breaks down or not no the water molecule will not break down because the water molecules are held together by strong bond car chemical bond and that bond we cannot break it by physical method or by manual method or mechanical method in this case you can see uh, i have uh, water molecule so if i want to break this water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen two to me as here i have two water molecule two water molecule so definitely it will give two hydrogen molecule and will give one oxygen molecule so what is the method what is that chemical method by which we can break the water molecule into its constituents or into its uh, components so the method is called photo electrochemical water splitting method or it is also called electrolysis electrolysis what is electrolysis inshallah you will learn about electrolysis in chapter number 7 but at this uh, time just keep this in your mind that if you want to break down water into its component then the process which we need is called electrolysis the properties of elements making the compounds are different to those of the compound the elements and compound have uniform composition means they are made up of similar atoms or molecules this point i already explained this point the properties of elements making the compound are different to those of the compound let us take the example of water water is made up of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas the first difference the product which is formed from hydrogen and oxygen just check the, their physical state water is in the liquid state but hydrogen and uh, oxygen is in the gaseous state so they are totally different water which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen it is its properties are totally different from the properties of hydrogen and oxygen the first difference i told you water is a liquid while hydrogen and oxygen are gases second property which is different is that oxygen and hydrogen are the supporter of burning they help in burning while water extinguish fire or water extinguish the flame 
so again this is different it means that the compound properties are totally different from the properties of the elements from which the compounds are formed or from which the compounds are made up of some examples of compounds are water water is a compound because it is made up of different elements two hydrogen atom and one oxygen nitrous oxide again compound made up of two different elements nitrogen and oxygen carbon dioxide again compound made up of different uh, elements one element is carbon and the other two elements are oxygen chlorofluorocarbon methane and ozone all are the examples of the compound because they are made up of different elements mixture an impure substance element and compounds they are pure substances why because they are made up of one kind of atom or same kind of atom but uh, not same sorry uh, one kind of atom an impure substance that contains two or more pure substances that retain their individual chemical characteristics for example mixture of iron and sulfur we can separate iron from sulfur by using a magnet if, uh, if we have mixture of iron and sulfur and we want to separate iron from sulfur then how can we separate it by using magnet because magnet will attract iron and sulfur will left behind types of mixture there are two types of mixture homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture homo means same and genus mean phase it means that a mixture having only one phase or one state is called homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout uniform composition i told you that at the brim of beaker or at the base of the beaker or at the mid of the beaker you will find same type of atoms for example, for example solution solutions like sugar in water salt in water these are the examples of homogeneous mixture because in this case all the um, uh, the phase or the state of the solution is one phase like if you put salt in water you will you will not see any salt or sugar in water only the solution will appear liquid no salt you can see no uh, sugar uh, you can see over there it means that these type of solution where we have only one phase or one state is called homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture hetero means different and genus means phase so heterogeneous mixture is consist of two or more visibly different components heterogeneous mixture does not have uniform composition it means at the brim the molecules will different at the base molecules will be different and at the mid of the beaker molecules will be different it means that the solution or the mixer does not have uniform composition for example suspension and collides are heterogeneous mixture suspension and collide you will learn in shell like grades uh, in chapter number seven sand in water oil in water and sand and salt these are the examples of the mixture solution you can see all these solution you can see only one physical state that is the liquid state no solid is visible it means this is a homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture you can see it have uh, the orange balls at the base and the purple balls at the mid it means the solution is not uh, have uniform composition because some molecules are more in more concentration at the base and some molecules have more concentration at the mid so this type of solution where the molecules are not distributed uniformly or evenly we, we say that this solution is uh, the solution which have um, which has uh, which is called heterogeneous mixture and it does not have uniform composition some other example of heterogeneous mixture are uh, pizza and lucky charms and pacific ocean uh, the clay 
these are the examples of heterogeneous mixture comparison between uh, pair substances like elements and compounds and mixture so pair substances are elements and uh, or compound mixture are combination of pair substances but not chemically bonded together in compound the elements are uh, combined chemically but in mixture they are not combined chemically water is an example of compound gold is an example of element uh, silver is an example of element and carbon dioxide is an example of compound the to break uh, or to separate the uh, elements from a compound required chemical process you cannot uh, separate the hydrogen and oxygen by physical means, means like only by boiling or only by cutting or only by grinding we cannot uh, uh, separate hydrogen and oxygen same is the case for carbon dioxide if you want to separate water then i told you we need a chemical process called electrolysis mixture are combination of pair substances not chemically bonded together they only combine together physically not chemically it means if they are combined physically so we can easily uh, separate them by physical processes for example you can see we have uh, gold so gold is uh, so soft we cannot make jewelry of a so always gold is mixed with some uh, copper so copper when mixed with gold and if you want to separate a uh, copper from gold the method by which we can separate just by heating by melting by melting we can separate uh, gold and copper from each other air is a mixture of different gases and if we want to separate different gases we have technique through which we can separate each gas from the mixture crude oil a method of fraction distillation uh, is a process through which uh, the different fraction of petrol are separated by difference in the, their boiling point because each fraction have different boiling point so due to the difference in their boiling point we can get different component or different fraction from the crude oil dear student assignment for today is give at least three differences between element and compound compound and uh, mixture and number c homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture uh, I hope you understand this lecture. Thank you.